Hello and welcome back! Our crusade against the Gay Phoenix continues. So, what are we gonna do in the assembly? Complete modular weapons. Uh, can we equip uh, weapon mods in the armory? Okay, sure, we got that. Uh, this is priority? Why though? I, I guess this is just the recommendation. Enhanced pistols? Oh shit! Oh, I get it. So, if you wanna upgrade the weapon, it needs to be upgraded specifically. But if you want to upgrade armor, then that, that gets upgraded for everybody. I like that. Okay, I, I'm gonna take this recommendation. I'm gonna begin. We would need more guys. I would love to like put one guy into the assembly and I guess we might just do that. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, let's, let's do the promotions first. Oh shit, we got a new guy! Woo! Woo! Who is the new guy? I don't know! Okay, we got explosives, AOE preaching. There is never a red wire. I am lucky if there are even wires. Wow. Uh, quite the guy. <clears throat> Shrapnel bomb, agent throws an explosive that detonates after several turns. That sounds dreadful. <laughs> I have to say. Like, what, when is it gonna detonate? Uh, after you're dead or after you're already buried? Like, way before, way after you're already fucking in the ground, they, they're they still gonna be laughing at your bomb, mate. That sounds pretty bad. I mean, how, 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 how much after you've thrown it? Like, it kinda matters. I need to know. Like, I'm, I'm actually quite, <laughs> quite annoyed that they just can't have, like, a number. Like, oh, it's gonna detonate in, like, three actions or sh shit like that. I don't know. The explosive does not deal damage through cover. Wow, even better. And can be targeted to detonate it early. Oh. Oh. Oh, I get it. So, you use your action, you know, like, first action, to just throw the bomb, then you shoot it. I guess it's kind of easy to hit. Doesn't it end turn if you use this first action? Okay. I get it now. <clears throat> so, it's like a... So, AoE damage at a range, but in order to use it, you have to stay the fuck back. Still, his stats are very uh, unimpressive other than that. We got blue blood, precision shooting and multiple shots. Do it the smart way, the hard way gets you killed. Uh, yeah, that's true. A agent takes a shot with 15% uh, in penalty for 15%. Uh, 50% uh, damage boost does not uh, end the turn if used this first action. Uh, yeah, I mean, he just shoots twice. Yeah, he just shoots twice with pistols. That That's his entire life. Uh, is it a great life? I don't know. <laughs> you decide. Um, and we got patchwork here. Agent sends the gremlin to an enemy to jolt them. Attack. Chains to nearby enemies. Damage is increased against robotic enemies. Hack open a, a door at the start of the breach. Okay. Combat scanners. Gremlin scans the room. I don't know. Like... Do we fight against robots? I mean, I fought against Snake. No, I... This is very specific, right? I, I think the Bomb Man might be the most impressive one here. Right? I mean, it depends, because... This is situational, because they gotta be a little spread out. We can go for, like, double pistol hits? I mean, that's not too bad. Oftentimes you want to move and shoot, and that's just worth so much more. Because let's just say like the average weapon deals like three to five damage. That's the uh, assault rifle we got right now, and the pistol is like three to four. So the pistol is not much worse, and I suppose shooting twice with the pistol would be nice. But I mean, I mean, most likely it would be just shooting at people in cover. So that's not great. I'm not not sure what to go for here. Also, his, his health is pretty bad. You might get one shot. I think I'm just gonna go with, with Blue Blood because I think we need someone who kicks ass. Uh, not situationally. So... For example, the last mission, we just needed to put damage into one target. And for that, he would be good. Okay, let, let's go for promotions. You're promoted! Field agent. 
Verge gains 5 aim and 10 critical chance for each enemy in the neural network. Holy shit! Verge alone? I mean, okay. The thing is, well, you, you're probably not gonna put in two enemies in the neural network per turn. That's kind of what I was doing. Because it kind of made sense, but... So this means... Also, the turns don't last that long. So, most fights last like one, two rounds. And uh, maybe like two, two to four. So, it's not gonna be as crazy... Also, peep, also the, the the neural network targets die. So after that, you're not gonna get bonus. So let's just say on average you're gonna get one guaranteed, but maybe like two, 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 two to three on average. So this means you situationally get ten aim and twenty critical chance, possibly higher, but. Yeah, that, that wouldn't be ideal. Enemies in the neural network that would be killed are rendered unconscious instead. Why though? So this is for the information, I suppose. So if you take this guy, then you're just gonna get a shit ton of intel. That That's the entire purpose behind it, right? Or is there is there an additional reason for uh, making sure that the enemies stay unconscious. So what do we want? I, this can be more, but this could be less too. Oh shit, this is... No, no, this is actually deceptively good, right? This is deceptively good because he has an ability... Where the fuck is it? Can we just read about him? What the fuck? Oh, I don't know. Doesn't he have a... Oh, yeah. Verge gains 10 aim for each enemy in the neural network. Certain abilities will add units to the neural network. Okay. Right. This is where we can check it. Stupor? Yeah. So, this makes more sense. If the fight... The caller has... Uh has value twofold. Because it not only allows us to get more intelligence by people are not dying in the in the neural network but additionally verge gains 10 aim for each enemy in the neural network so in a long mission uh no matter who we target with the neural network uh he's gonna get more benefit from it he, he can actually scale better i mean i don't value critical chance that much and this has more utility and more power in a long mission. Because in a, in a, in a, in a longer mission, uh, a crowdsource will will not be as effective because most likely the, the units will be dying. So I, I'm going to take the color here. I mean, this is a tough choice. But I think color has more utility and more power level in a tougher mission. Imagine like a, a mission that where like you just put like five enemies in your neural network or six. Like, that's never gonna happen with crowdsource. Never gonna happen. And also, you have uh, a way to get a shit ton more intelligence. Which is just, like, that's relevant. So, we, we need him on the mission. So, he's a good guy. Okay, we gotta, we're gonna take, pick this. But you can argue either way. I could see it. Especially if you just wanna go for, like, the, the big, big entrance. But then, then, is it really worth picking it up? Just for the... Extra 5 or 10, 10 extra 5 aim and 10 crit chance. I don't know. I, I don't think so. I wouldn't say. If terminal takes enough damage to begin bleeding out, they are instead reduced to 1 HP and immediately enter stasis one when turn. One use permission. Holy shit. So she... Like, that's pretty important because she is the healer. Like, no one saves her, I think. Because the med kits are personal use. We can check this. No, this this doesn't stabilize. Doesn't stabilize. Uh, that's actually worth checking out. <clears throat> but... 
I mean, ultimately you want to play a little safer with uh, terminal, but that that makes a lot of sense. So you don't lose your healer. Uh, terminal shoots down suppressive fire at the target to push their turn down the timeline to turn cooldown. So this just makes them act later. And also this is an action you can just keep spamming uh, to turn cooldown though. But this uh, undoubtedly consumes ammo. Although. This is an action that we would need to do instead of healing, right? Because we can already use the healing one, uh, first of all, to heal, or just to give 20 armor to someone. And we would need to use this pin down just to push someone's turn back instead. And this would this will likely not be worth it as long as we heal, can heal someone else. I can I can see the argument that maybe this makes more sense. Like, I see this situation only being good, but this is situation only being awesome, which is hard to say. I mean, both great. This is gonna be a little bit passive, but if it ever happens that she goes down, it's gonna be like, oh, that's a lifesaver. Stasis for one turn, one use permission. Yeah, let's go with sustain. I like both. Okay, what we got here? Please, Punchy Man, you, you gotta... Uh, I guess we can call him One Punch Man Zephyr. Well, actually, that's true. I, I'm kind of hoping he becomes One Punch Man, because currently he is like the... Like, his punch damage is like pistol damage. Okay, he gained parry. Which is... Uh, the extraction from momentum can be spent to prevent damage from the next attack instead of moving. Holy shit. So, that's actually better... So he kind of acts a little bit in, like, uh, not Verge. Okay, come on, excuse me, they kind of look the same. Uh, a little bit like Cherub. So at least he can serve as a distraction. He runs in, punches someone in the face, and as a finishing blow, he gets momentum. And he uses that momentum just to, uh, just... I mean, it's not so much better than uh, what uh, Cherub is already doing, because he can give someone a, a shield, then shoot. And he just... He, he only gets it if he kills somebody. Finishing blow. And Cherub always has it. And, and it just stays on. So, I don't know. So, we are doing that. Uh, we are... Yep. Item reflexes. Now, do we wanna put someone in the assembly to speed up uh, the attack. Because I could see a very good reason to do that, but we can also get 75 credits. However, autoloader, the first reload in a mission does not cost an action. That's probably a better, but still not amazing stock. Missed shots still deal one damage to the target. That's pretty situational, especially because a lot of enemies have armor. So, would that go through armor? Grants 50 dodge. Stock body armor with match weave anticipates and augments an agent's sudden movements. Uh, in this game, uh, I'm, I, I, I had to read, read about it, but uh, 50 dodge is basically as a chance. It, it's not evasion, but... Uh, downgrades the type of hit you receive. So if it would be a near miss, then it becomes a miss. If it becomes a hit, then if it would be a hit, then it becomes a near miss. And this is a 50% chance of like they dealing like half percent damage, half, half like 50% damage. So, I mean, it's good. I think clip size is increased by one. That's pretty pointless. Grants one HP to the agent. It seems like Mark Weave is the way to go. Okay, we gotta get one Mac Weave. Like, there are all the good stuff here, I, I guess. Okay, let's go with Mac Weave. We've gotta buy one of these suckers. And we're gonna put it on the melee guy because. Oh boy. Oh, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> uh, however, we have an extra person who either goes to get some money. But do I care about that? And if I don't, would it be better suited 
to just put him here. Blue blood. And he's just gonna speed up the enhanced armor. Question is... Can we even afford the enhanced armor? How much it's gonna cost? Is it free? Probably not. Anyway, let's look at the missions. It looks like the big mission is finally available. We have a choice of investigating a strange device and just getting 65 bucks. But it would be probably a better idea to actually do the big mission. Which reduces the unrest by two. And we get 30 bucks. But I guess we have to do this. And uh, yeah, let's do that. Complete the locate uh, power siphon. It does seem like that the early game is less stupid. I don't know how the late game is like in this game. I don't know. But I'm actually quite happy that the early game is just not stupid because that was actually uh, one of the criticism that could be said about XCOM at times that you know it, the early game might become very RNG heavy, but then it becomes stupid easy. I mean, this may have changed over time, but it was one of the uh, it was a little annoying. Anyway, uh, let's go. Are we ready though? I mean, as I'm, I'm as ready as I could be. Yeah, he's gonna have no, not not him. Him have a hat. He's going to have the the body armor and the Mac weave. That's all I got. Pangolin gauntlets. I mean, I, I'm bringing everything I got. That's all I got. I have zero money. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, does he have the heal? I mean, if someone should have the heal, it should be this guy, right? But it's not him who has it. Ah, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Let's go. Uh, was was that projected encounters free? <clears throat> I don't know. Oh, no one came. Brownouts affect the fringe more than most. Great Phoenix provides power, which buys them goodwill. Today, City Works noted a power siphon at this chemical plant. What are the odds? No idea. I don't get statistics. What do you well. get? Ballistics. Well, we gotta kick this guy. <laughs> quick, uh, quick snare. First unit through this entrance will be rooted for one round. Oh shit! That really shouldn't be the melee guy. <laughs> uh, or the puncher. I guess it can be the can be the medic. Then we go Zephyr. Actually, Verge would be a good choice. Then Zephyr, then Cherub. Right? I don't know. Let's go like that. It's go time. Let's go. Oh shit! What? Wait! There was a snake behind the barrel all along. God damn it! No one saw that. It's a paladin. It doesn't look like a paladin. Okay. So this is the only one. It's gotta be hitting me. It has 6 HP. The only one I could kill, possibly, is the snake in the back. Yes! He's unconscious? So, we can lift the, uh, the mutant over here. I mean, we can technically kill it. It's not too hard. Not super unlikely. Do I want to lift or do I just want to shot? Oh no. Oh. 
Fearless advance. How much are we gonna do in damage? So that should kill that guy. And the last and kind of least. Oh, it's Phalanx. Uh, that's not gonna matter right now. It doesn't even tell me what it does. Right. I don't need to know. Uh, oh no! That's a little upsetting because I was kind of hoping that the melee attack will trigger first. What? Oh my god, his damage is so pathetic. So we are rooted, we can't move, but we still have two actions. And it's a thing counter one out of three. So I gotta be a little careful. No one got shot. And this is where I can make the argument, oh my god, we really should suppress fire somebody. And yeah, sure. But that would also mean that we would need to spend one action eventually, reloading. Okay. I don't like to spend the I send send the medic in first. Need a little help? Because just now we describe. can't use the heal. We just get some extra defense on Zephyr. Uh who are we gonna shoot? That will not be a kill. That could be a kill. And that could be a kill too. Uh, that's actually a better target for the melee guy. Wait, no, 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 no. I don't think so. Uh, let's just shoot at the legionnaire. Oh, he's sleeping now. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, we can go for a shot, but maybe not. The Python just gets disabled. It's asleep. Paladin. I can make the Python shoot at the Paladin, then make the Python fall asleep. Go on. Lash out. Not gonna lie, that always creeps me out. I mean, I suppose we want to do My that. Mind over yours. Only one turn. Mind merging with the Python. I really want to punch someone in the ass. It's gotta be you, though. What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> okay, we're killing the paladin, right? That's a no brainer. And it's not even an uh, unconscious kill. Wait, what? Oh, he died! Oh, right! It's one of those! Uh, let's, let's just try to capture if he can. Oh, maybe that was a bad idea. Did we wake him up? I think we did. Wow. What a noob. So, we don't need to heal anybody? I guess I'm just gonna go close and punch him. I suppose I don't need to reload. That's just gonna happen automatically. What does it? You weren't supposed to hit back. Okay, Paladin. Hostile is under arrest. <laughs> yeah. It's the most human way to do it. You're coming up on the plant's production area. The power siphon routes through here. Oh, no. Don't hop in the chemical tanks. Yet another helpful tip from your medic. Okay, let's breach. 
main door and vent, but we can't go into the vent. Last unit through this entrance will be what? Rooted for one round. Oh, that's fine. Uh, it's gotta be the medic. Who wants to go first? It can be Verge into Zephyr into Cherub into Terminal. That sounds good to me. Yeah, screw that. Let's breach. Oh, what? No, 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 no. Fuck, let's, let's breach. We shall move in. Do we want to lift anybody? Oh my god. I'm a little annoyed that when I, when I click next, it's not next. It's, it's weird. Like, I just wanted like this, 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 but like, that is next. Then that. Then that. Then that. Then that. Then that. Why? And actually the hit chance uh, goes in order, so it's just fucked up. I don't like it. So this guy can be lifted, but maybe that's not a great idea. I kind of want to kill him. 66%, but... Python... That Legionnaire is easier to kill, though. I mean, lifting him is not bad. He would not shoot back. I mean, that's kind of relevant. But I also miss my shot. Which is also pretty relevant. It's kind of hard to kill him. I don't know. Okay, let's just shoot at the Legionnaire. I'd rather just kill one of them. Fearless advance. So... Problem is, this will shoot. And we deal 3 to 4... Damage. Ah, let's, let's go in. At least that's gonna be a kill. I can do phalanx. But does this mean he will not shoot? One legionnaire will shoot at him. Although that's a bit of a questionable move. For me. 3 to 5. Hit the python a little bit. Okay, let, let's hit the python. It's gonna take one lick of damage. He's immune. Oh, I oh, actually tanked the shotgun hit. What the fuck? Just, just make him do damage. Any damage, please. I mean, if he does at least five damage, then it's usable. But he deals three damage. How the fuck am I supposed to use that? Collect the evidence. Okay. Let's see what we got here. So this guy is gonna act very soon. Uh, so he goes sleepy sleepy. One to two turns. Actually, what if I try to shoot? My, my shots... Actually don't have the best chance Your to hit. Thoughts. So it's done only for one round. Hmm. I mean, those would be really nice. Let's just... Actually, targeting at the snake seems to be a higher likelihood of working out. So we can target this adder. We can also throw a flashbang grenade on a lot of people over here. So they're a little Lights fucked. Out. They're disoriented, but they all they're still gonna be mad. Yeah, 
He goes berserk. Shoot you, buddy. Oh, nice. That, that wasn't the best. Oh, no. Do I want to move people up in... In the round? Maybe not. So let's say we want to capture this guy. Subdue him. I mean, subdue makes sense. Ceasefire grenade. Uh, we can't even get close. Hostile subdued. Does this give him momentum? That doesn't even give him momentum. He needs to use his terrible attack. To gain momentum. At least he's good at dodging now. Okay, let's see what we got. So we got full HP with Cherub. He can tank. Uh, we can finish off the adder. Uh, we're gonna tank. Uh, we're gonna put a shield on terminal. Now that's protection. And it would be the best if we actually finished off the guy who's already wounded. Even though he's not gonna come at, uh, anytime soon. At least we'll make some progress with that. Fuck him. Okay. Zephyr serves as a good distraction. Fuck. That doesn't necessarily matter as long as we can free him. Can we free him? I can potentially kill this adder. I mean, that would be huge. There are not many opponents we can subdue, apparently. Okay, let's go for a self heal. actually makes more sense than running to cover and now I can either move actually I can move I'm rooted <sighs> I really wanna free my teammate that's gonna worth it oh we need to collect the evidence Fuck. Even more paladins. Okay. How good is that shot? It's actually a really fucking good shot. Okay. So who's gonna be up in Torn Order? It's gonna be the Legionnaire. What? Oh yeah, I can't target the Legionnaire anymore. We already targeted him. Oh, that's a bummer. Uh, let's target the Paladin. How many active connections I have? It's only two. Does unconscious not matter? 100%. What? Why is he so tanky? Okay. Uh, my hit chance is pretty damn good though. Nice! Unconscious. That was the one out of three. Oh fuck. Nice. Good shield. Very tanky. Very tanky squad. But I'm not loving Zephyr here. 
He can go for a punch. Why is he so tanky though? Okay, well, you can go for that punch. Or punch on the paladin. I guess. Yeah, let, let's do it like that. Let's stay, stand there. Oh shit, no, 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 no. Do I have the extra movement? Oh fuck. Go back! Do the thing! Oh, we managed to stun him? I mean, I would be more into it if I could choose it. Which one we get? If I could choose stun every time? Sign me the fuck up. But it's random. Um... I don't know. Let's let's shield verge. But also run in and punch these guys. I made the arrest. Book him. Oh shit. Right. Oh. I get it now. So Oh, uh, let's heal Zephyr. He'll be fine. So these paladins. Fast. I just give someone an HP boost and possibly some other boosts. And in exchange. Uh, when they die, the their target dies too. The siphon is up ahead. Why does Grey Phoenix have such a heavy presence in a chemical plant? More of them to knock around. Psst. You're one to talk. <laughs> okay, what we got here? Come on. Explosive entrance. All non-aggressive enemies guarding this entrance are surprised. Units automatically activate Overwatch after the breach. Oh, that sounds pretty good. Lead by example, first unit through this entrance does free damage during the breach. Okay. That's both good. I need, I need to explode the wall. I mean, we want to take both walls. Actually, during the breach, Zephyr is so bad, he cannot take advantage of either. Because first unit through this entrance does free damage during the breach, but he doesn't do any damage during the breach. He does damage first turn, start of first turn after the breach, right? I don't, I don't think this counts, but it would be good to know. Also, he cannot take advantage of the Overwatch because he doesn't have a gun. <sighs> I still gotta try this. So we're gonna send Zephyr over there. And... Cherub is gonna blow this up. And... Uh, actually, it might be Verge instead. No, it, it needs to be Cherub. Then Verge. Then Terminal. And I'm, I don't know. Does, does he deal plus 3 damage? Does this count? Because they're gonna get uh, Overwatch, and all enemies gonna be surprised. There's not much point sending two people here. Actually, there is a point. First unit through this entrance does free damage during the breach. Uh, whoever has pretty good accuracy. So I'm gonna send Terminal to the other side. It's gonna be one, two, three, four. Kind of. Let, let's go like that. But we won't take advantage of the Overwatch. No, no, no. I, I wanna see if it actually works. If he deals plus free damage, or he's just completely irredeemable bad. Irredeemably bad. Let's go. How's this for an entrance? Pretty nice. Yeah. 
It's in the door, right? Okay, everybody's surprised except this aggressive adder. Okay. So we did f uh, 3 to 4 damage, and the easiest to hit is the adder or the legionnaire. Let's breach fire on the legionnaire. <clears throat> now we have a chance to kill this. Uh, we gotta take that chance. Good. Uh, obviously we're gonna take this chance as well. Maybe the aggressive weather should be the one. It's a graze. Yeah, this is like complete different. Probably you see deal 3 to 4 damage, so that's pretty much garbage going against the adder. Let's go after the aggressive legionnaire. Oh, he actually dealt 6 damage. Wow, yes. He did something. Woo! And apparently we have Overwatch now. That's Maybe. the siphon. Smash it to pieces. Destroy the siphon to stop reinforcements. Holy shit. Everything. I'm still better at dealing damage. So we can heal, we can uh, shield. Okay, this deals 3 damage. Straight up 3 damage, nothing else. Can we use it on the Legionnaire as well? The Legionnaire and the other is gonna... Okay, let's bring up Zephyr. Uh, let's team up Zephyr. And uh, let's Kinetic Shield. I'm not sure if we want to put it on Zephyr. Let's put it on Terminal. We can also put it on him, but let's put it on Terminal. Then, uh, we're just gonna kill the Legionnaire. You're clear. Go. Unconscious. I, I wonder how many uh, captures I'm gonna get. So we can kill an adder, and this adder will act next. So it makes sense. How will I take out the thingy? Will I just punch it to death? 4 to 5 damage. So bad. This is 2 to 3 damage. Either disarm, disorient, stun or root. I mean, if you get root, complete garbage. You get disarm, I mean, that's not great necessarily because they can switch or maybe they have abilities. Disorient, I guess that's nice, although I'm not sure exactly what it does. Stun, stun is fucking awesome, right? Fracturing! Okay, let's parry. Okay, I can make the legionnaire outside, go to sleep. Wait. How strong is this snake? I mean, there's a chance we kill the snake. Okay, let's make uh, the legion outside fall asleep. Stun of one. Then try to take out the snake. I mean, can be a five all the time. Oh, nice! We got the overwatch. Mm. Do we have to heal anybody? Seems like no. So we got this uh, alien in there. A legionnaire who's currently sleeping. I think we just want to move in a little bit. Quite a bit. And just destroy the siphon. 
I'm not exactly sure where we want to move. Anything that gives me a clear line of sight on the objective. Does this give us... I mean, this should give us clear line of sight, right? It's Moving. unclear. Cover me. Stay close, okay? Oh, it didn't even uh, show that it's gonna be visible. Slow button, I guess we can work on it. Oh my god, she needs heals! Now he's gonna parry. Oh shit, terminal. Side is able. No! Oh, you bastard! That's my trick. How could you do this to me? Oh man. Do I just want to shoot at the thingy? I guess so. Mm, let's shield Verge. I can also shield Cherub. Then go for a hit. On the objective. Now we need a pretty big hit on that, but... Probably not gonna work. It's a this is a four to five. The Dominator. What are I getting hit in the face, Dominator? I mean, this should be okay, right? Oh, he's done for two turns. I mean, fuck yeah. If that was a thing every time, sign me up. I can get out of there if I want to. Or we can just parry again. We are no longer stunned. I can uh, take a shot. How about... Yeah, let's just disable the, the Legionnaire. Oh, stun for two. Nice. Wait, what? Oh shit! It's friendly fire. Okay, let's fucking do it. We gotta, we gotta take it out. Okay, that's potential friendly fire. Game, you're overestimating my damage, quite a bit. Oh fuck! That's a lot of reinforcements. We definitely need someone who can deal damage single target fast. And that's not Zephyr. Okay. So we got Cherub here. He can still just dish out shields. And the shields stay on. That's just stupidly good. Uh, I don't know if Zephyr needs protecting. Uh, let's put it on Verge. And... Uh, we're not doing that. I can move in on the Legionnaire. There's not much else we can do. So it's closer to death. Let me try again. Yeah, you're not gonna mess with that. Someone's go Someone has to. So... Ceasefire grenade. Okay. I mean, might as well use that. Because this mission is about to end. Weapon disabled. Now we're gonna punch him in the face. Oh shit, what? No, no, no. no. That, that still works. Uh, yeah, I, I wanna close in on them. It's fine. Smashing extremity. Weapon disabled. Why? Okay, Verge. So, we can activate the Muton.
to kill the snake. No way out. Well, maybe not guaranteed, but Uh, shoot at the mainframe. I think that has to happen. Although... That le legionnaire will act. I mean, it doesn't matter too much. I'm, I'm gonna kill one. Might as well shoot at the mainframe now. I shall move. Why are you guys even fight? The thing you guys wanted is gone. It's blown up. This thing is nearly empty. Okay. Yeah, that's not the best shot, but I think it makes more sense to heal ourselves. Wait. Does the De defense bonus stays on. I think it does. Oh, he's sleeping now. That's how you make them unconscious for life. What's going on here? Good defense. Oh, Perry. I wish I could say Zephyr is growing on me, but I, I suppose the final, the final straw is that his punch is random. Oh shit, mind controlled? I don't like that. Okay, well. What? What do you mean end, end the turn? Like that, that was... Oh, that unit is burning? Can I just do a med kit? Is this a free action? Can I just do a kinetic shield? Why do you have so many actions? Oh yeah, turn middle is against me. I mean, it does seem like I, I can do this. It's a free action, right? Shields up. No, no. Why not the guy next to you? That Ooh, what the fuck are you doing? What? I literally just said, punch the guy you're standing next to. And you just ran off into the fire, then you somehow missed an attack that's actually a guaranteed attack. Uh, that's not gonna work. No, I, I don't wanna shoot you in the face. Crit! Redeem yourself! Are you in full cover? That doesn't seem like it. Oh my god, melee sucks even more because now we're running into the fire. I guess we should just use crippling blow here. Don't run into the fire, okay? So this stops the mind control. Uh, I guess we can parry. Terminal can heal, but doesn't have to. We need to reload. All right. Or at least I probably should reload. OK. 
Okay, let's kill the snake. Actually, let's reload, then kill the snake. Ready for anything. This takes up one action point. Then we kill the snake. Stay Unconscious yet. again. What else we got? Verge. It doesn't have anyone else to connect anymore. Uh, I suppose we can come here. Try to shoot this legionnaire. One hundred percent, even crit damage. Fine. You better run. They don't even care. Shield charged. Okay. So. This guy's gonna act, and uh, pff, fuck me. I don't have great shots, and if I get close, uh, only I'm gonna give them great shots. Hmm. I'm not quite sure what to do. You might want to wait for the next turn. But we're pretty much uh, in an amazing spot already. 44. I suppose. Shouldn't have come. Wow, it's gonna be so cool. Nope. Oh, look at that. The parry wasn't completely useless. Fire's about to spread. Oh my god. What are you doing? Get out of there. Go there. Okay, I'm moving. I see that. Move or die. Uh I mean, sure. Take a shot. Wow. Uh, can you go for a punch? Can we go for a... No, we can't go for a guy who Shattering. is about to come. Oh, momentum. Let's go for parry. Not much ammunition. Well, you don't need much ammunition to take out the last guy. Why is this so difficult? Come on, kill him. Just surrender, mate. Don't worry, Zephyr. You're gonna be just fine. Within my reach. I still like you a lot. Oh shit, going demolition. Okay. Rest in peace, Legionnaire. Another collar for the men. Another sleepy guy. How many went to sleep? 17 guys went to sleep. <laughs> Man, that's a lot. Excellent! At least no one went down, so but that's nice. But that's kind of the main idea. You, you don't want anyone to go down. Oh, Zephyr. I think you just volunteered for... Uh... A thing is, maybe he didn't. Because he does have increased HP. That's not really a credit to him. That's just something I gave him. So we got basic conditioning for Godmother as well. Minus 2 unrest and 30 bucks. And 30 Illyrium. And 20 intel for capturing. So we always, well not always, but many times we do get intel for missions. So that, that goes up naturally. And we get the biggest bucks uh, back at home. Uh... Just for like having an agent, just get the bucks all the time. And Illyrium, now nah, that's kind of hard to get. So I kind of prioritize work. getting that. With their influence reduced, Grey Phoenix won't be able to operate in plain sight. Okay. Oh, I did it. The Gay Phoenix is no more. Oh shit. The city is shaken by the untimely loss of our mayor. But with everything this city has been through, I have Suddenly, to believe we'll come out of this stronger complete. than ever. 
Let's not sugarcoat this, Roger. How can we feel safe when our duly elected officials are kidnapped and assassinated? You're absolutely right. This is a tragedy. We can't forget or forgive. But how do we move on? Tension can be felt on every street and in every home. Together, hmm. Glorgo, that's how we move on. I kind of want to get Throughout rid of that. History, we faced many challenges and threats, but I mean, only together the more likely it is that we take an injury. Right. The more it sucks, obviously. In progress, enhanced armor. Nice. Okay, I guess. I mean, I would like to have someone do the glad handing. That would be nice. As you've experienced, Grey Phoenix is surprisingly coordinated and disciplined. Discover what keeps them bound together. I don't know. Does it look like I know what I'm doing? Jesus Christ. Okay, let's go back. What do you mean end date? No, no, no. I, I want to do stuff. I guess you you do that when, when you're right, really fucked. But I, I don't plan on ever being in that state. Oh. <laughs> I suppose a MacVeave would be nice again. I mean, if I had three more MacVeaves, I mean, that would be a pretty big step up, right? That would be huge. I mean, yeah. That would be 180 bucks to go for that. I'm still not gonna prioritize bucks just because of that, but yeah, I mean, it would be a really good idea. I don't know if I want to take Zephyr on a mission, but at the same time, this new guy has such a low HP that he's almost guaranteed to go down, which is just gonna lead to trouble. Godmother actually uh, managed to increase her HP uh, to a respectable 10, I believe. Blue blood, great to see you. <laughs> Back at you, Whisper. Settling in? Not exactly. Until we have a proper field office, we get to sleep in a rail car repair yard. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Eh, let me know when we have any. Alright. So she does have 10 health, but uh, lower dodge, which also means that she's more likely to receive a critical hit. Uh, I don't know. I like her. I like her. Uh, but I think the new guy needs a health upgrade. Okay, let's see what we do. I need money. I kind of want to increase the prior. Yeah. Do, do I? Do I? How much I want to prioritize money and how much I want to prioritize research? It's it's really tough because once I have this en enhanced armor, but I can't afford it, it's gonna be it's gonna be hell. Like, <laughs> wait, what do we get? Yeah, new supply item, enhanced armor upgrade. So that's gonna cost something, right? All right. Glad handing. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I can just have blue blood. He's in the signs. Ah, uh, I don't know. I kind of want to take blue blood on the mission, but this is tough. I want to get rid of this. I mean, what we can do is take Godmother on a mission. We're gonna take Godmother on a mission. Yes. We're gonna send the new guy, Blue Blood, to get some HP because he's pathetic. But this is not like having your having your cake and eating it too. This is just like fucking terrible situation. And although I, I don't like Zephyr, but I cannot argue with the fact that I'm a, I upgraded him. Ah. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's that's how I should play it. But I do need someone who deals damage, because every time some some objective comes up, we're like, oh, you gotta take this down right now. People always show up because I suck. They they always show up, and she deals more damage. So the, this squad at least deals some damage, and Cherub already is terrible for damage. I suppose I can replace him. Should I have that? Should I replace Cherub from active duty for Zephyr? Then have Cherub, uh, I don't know, get money or prioritize the armor upgrades. Uh, yeah, let's let's just send in Cherub over here. It just 
I just need more damage in the squad. That's it. And uh, yeah, I cannot afford the damn thing. <laughs> but actually, one thing we might be able to do. No, no, no. Do I have? Don't I, don't I have anything in the in the armory? Do, 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 do. Investigation. Locate. Uh, unrest in old town has lowered by three. Locate power type and was complete. Okay. I mean, this is just... Yeah, I mean, we see it on the map. We, I don't have to check that tab. And it seems like if we have items, I'm, I'm just gonna know about it. So, fine. Anyway, guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.